Hello, my name is Ethan Darwin. I'm Manish Gunludu. And I'm Coleman Eschenbrenner. And we are Broomfield Bot Engineering, also known as Broom Bot Engineering, and we would like to invite you on a tour of our exhibit. At Bebot Engineering, we value transparency. Here is our mission statement. Our values include integrity, safety, teamwork, diversity, we have a very neurodiverse team, and quality. Here is our team structure, and here are some action shots of our team with our lessons learned. Over here is our brand promise. Bebot, engineered to reverse engineer, with our team directly below it. Down here is our advertisements. In the middle, is a advertisement for our robot and the other four are employee recruitment posters. Below that is our the our target audience, the people who are, are trying to sell our product to. As you can see, we have sponsors on the national level, the regional level, the hub level, and our school level. Over here we have our community outreach events, which include trick or treat so kids can eat, Santa's Little Hackers, and the Broomfield High School courtyard renovations. In the middle, we have our testimonials about our brand. The problem. The problem that we identified at Bebot was as a company, we were tasked with the challenge of building a robot that is able to dispose of debris from a construction site without the risk of human injury. We use the engineering design process to help design our robot. Here's a design matrix that we used to help determine which parts were the most crucial to our robot. We divided it into five categories, points, score, possible points, ease, and desirability. Then we all put it to a vote and decided that the three most crucial tasks were to install the light pole, lift the air compressor, and lift the pipe bundle. Then after that, we divided our company into, te into three teams, the movement and maneuverability team, the pipe bundle and air compressor team, and the light pole delivery team. We started off our design process with brainstorming. We then quickly moved on to prototyping. As you can see here, we have the light pole dropper that works by dropping light poles out the bottom. We have the forklift drivetrain prototype, and it works with the top gear being motorized and it can move like that. And then we have the original chassis wheels that have grip tape on them so that they're easier to move. These prototypes will be out for people to explore. We also had several design integration meetings where each team would present their ideas of how they thought we should do it, and everyone else would give them feedback on what, how they thought we should continue designing. We also have an interactive 3D rendering station where visitors can see our, a 3D model of our robot. We also have a place where you can interact with the robot by zooming in and out and seeing it from all different angles. We also have some video of our robot in action. Our final robot design. Down here, we have our completed robot. And in this first picture, we have the light pole dropper on the back of our robot, the chassis bird's eye view, as you can see here, and the forklift on the front of our robot. This is also the main view of our robot for everyone to see. You can also see our code here. This code, we used Simulink and it tells our robot what to do, and this is the main base of our robot because it is how it moves. As an added bonus for when you leave our exhibit, you can see this wonderful brochure for more information about our team and our robot. Also on the outside, we have links to our email, our Instagram, and our website. Thank you for watching this presentation by Bebot Engineering from Broomfield High School, team number 1307, and have a nice day.